Hello there, I'm Black Bright. My voice is a bit hoarse today, a bit under the weather, so bear with me. I still decided to do a video, notwithstanding I don't feel 100%. Anyway, I decided to do this video because um, I saw something, yes, normally it comes in on my phone. So I've got this Google app and every now and then um, I'm notified of some kind of news piece. So yesterday what stood out for me was it said that a man is fined £12,000 and faces jail for saying goodbye to his wife at the airport. So of course, you know, my ears prick up and I think, oh, this looks interesting. What's this about? So I start reading the article and apparently a man had bought a ticket and he wanted to make sure his wife got on the plane. So he got a ticket, he was issued with a boarding pass and that boarding pass allowed him to go through all the security points and everything so he could actually um, take his wife on the, to the plane. But what he didn't realise is that it's illegal, and this is in Singapore, it's illegal to get a boarding pass if you don't intend to fly. It's actually a criminal offence. So when he um, turned to come back now and says he's not flying anywhere, he just bought the ticket so he could accompany his wife and say goodbye, um, they arrested him. He's doing two years in jail and he's got, got fined 12000 So then that led me to think, I wonder if that rule applies to the UK. Oh, because these are things, I mean, for one, the majority of us won't have enough money to buy a ticket just to go and take somebody to the airport. It is a bit extreme. I mean, I don't know if she was going, you know, maybe... An, maybe not too far from Hong Kong and the ticket wasn't too much but regardless if you're not flying it's a bit extravagant to buy a ticket just so you can take your wife to the plane anyway it led me to try and look up and see what rules apply to the UK and I could not find anything all it was saying is that you know you've got a boarding pass you're getting ready to fly it didn't say anything about um, having a boarding pass and not wanting to fly, if you see what I mean. I think in the UK, they've taken it for granted that if you have a boarding pass, you want to fly. So I couldn't find anything about that. And it was a bit, you know, I wish I could, because I think it is something. I mean, you might have some rich people who might think that they can do that. In America, they have two airports. I think it's Seattle and... Um, forget what the other one is I'll have a look in a minute but you can actually have a day pass or a visitor's pass and you can actually go into the airport you apply before 1 30 I don't know if this um still exists I mean this was about 2017 to yeah 2017 2018 uh, but you you could get a visitor's pass you just had to apply before 1 30 of the day before and you'd be get an email to say whether or not you'd been approved and you could actually go right through the gates and you can benefit from having a meal in there and all sorts they limited it to uh, 50 people but you could do that in america so I don't know about the UK, but it's really useful to know because I wouldn't like to think that, you know, if I did have a lot of money and I wanted to see my partner off at the airport and then the next thing you know, it, it's an arrestable offence. I think there should be something clearly written out now after the fact now they've put notices around Singapore Airport. There's some other things that I um, picked up. What else was there? So it is an arrestable... And this only came out 31st of... This was just yesterday, you know, this happened. So it is an arrestable offence to enter the transit area if you do not intend to travel, even if you have a boarding pass. A man bought her flight tickets just to say goodbye, now faces jail and a £12,000 fine as it is illegal for him not to travel. Singapore, this happened at Singapore Shanghai Airport and he's going to face two years in jail.
he had no plans to travel so apparently that's illegal it's in Singaporean law anyone with a boarding pass who accesses the transit area past security should only be there if they attend to travel it's considered a protected place but I was wondering you know did he check in I mean through the process I wonder if he told anyone look I'm not flying, I've got a boarding pass, I'm not flying, I'm just accompanying my wife. Because I don't understand, unless he was being deceitful about it, how he got that far and nobody stopped him if they knew he was just going to see his wife with a boarding pass. Apparently those who misuse their boarding pass uh, to enter into the transit areas with no intention to proceed to their next destination are liable for an offence under the Infrastructure Protection Scheme, which was passed in 2017. Um, apparently, these boarding passes, this is another thing I found out. You know, if you go to a duty free and they ask you to see your boarding pass, you do have to show it then but if you go into any of the other um, shops where it's not duty free you're not obliged to show your they they will ask you but you're not obliged to show it i mean nobody wants to be difficult but just so you know it's not um, a must um i think in i think it's in the uk they have some club members you know these rich people and they can access the lounges for meetings even when they're not traveling so i guess you know, there's exceptional circumstances when people can get through that area without um, travelling. Um, apparently, some people buy a refundable ticket to go through security. They spend the day there and then they get their money back. Oh, the other one was Pittsburgh. USA Pittsburgh and Seattle have visited visitors past days to say goodbye to a loved one. It's limited to 50 people, like I said. Um, you can apply online before 1.30 on the day before and you're notified by email if you're approved. And you pick up your visitors pass with a photo ID. And I don't know if this option is available, like I said. Um, also, I said something the other day about this, this guy bringing honey into the country. I went into the States, actually, and apparently, um, even in the UK, honey or jam must be no more than 100 mils. So apparently those jars that he had were over 100 mils. 100 mils is like um, when they're asking you if you want to bring lotions. I mean, for females, it's really difficult because we like to bring all our bits and pieces. But... And nothing must be more than 100 mils if you've got um, face lotion, face cream, nothing more than 100 mils. And if you're a smoker, you're not allowed to have, you're only allowed one lighter. And that lighter must be on your person. You can't have any lighters, only other lighters in your hand luggage. And you can't have any lighters in your suitcase the check-in luggage or the hand like or the hand luggage only one lighter and that has to be on your person so you'll have to make sure that that lighter works um what else um yeah part you know that thing about um singapore it's a part of the country's counter-terrorism framework 33 people have been arrested since january of this year i mean i can understand it to a degree because you're getting a ticket it is still an expensive way to do it but you're getting a ticket and you're not flying anywhere um and you've got the boarding pass and you go through the whole process it does seem a bit you know a bit off i guess so i i don't think it should be a twelve thousand pound fine though and two years in jail i think that's a bit extreme but you know it's the rules of the country i guess um one woman bought tickets so she could meet members of a South Korean boy band. She got arrested. Another one wanted to go shopping at the airport. I mean, it's such an expensive way to do it. Anyway, other arrestable offences for the Brits who may not know. If you, you can get arrested for walking around naked in your hotel room. So they must have cameras. Can you imagine? You're in your own hotel room that you've paid for and you can't walk around naked. Otherwise, you get arrested. Apparently, stepping on money in Thailand is a criminal offence, a big criminal offence. So don't go around doing that. 
running out of fuel on Germany's autobahn. So if you're driving on that autobahn and you run out of fuel, you're off to the police station. Um, using the phrase Polish death camp or accusing Poland of being complicit in the atrocities of the Holocaust, that's illegal. So you can't be doing that if you go to if you go to Poland. Um, weeing in the Portugal Sea. So if you go to Portugal and they catch you, if the water goes a different colour and they know you've weed in that sea, that's a criminal offence. Um, they'd have to be watching you though, wouldn't they? Um, Sri Lanka, tattoos of Buddha. You know, people have so many different um, tattoos. So if you've got a tattoo of Buddha on your arm, you better cover that up. Uh, if, especially if you're going to Sri Lanka. It's seen as disrespectful because they hold him in high esteem. Singapore, no spitting, no jaywalking or singing obscene songs. That's also a criminal offence. And in Florence, Italy, loitering around historic monuments or churches. That's a criminal offence. So, so while I was looking at one thing, I found another. I also found um, about this digital bank. Um, what's it called now? Yeah, you get a sterling card. Yeah, I thought, that, but I'll talk about that in another video. Otherwise, I'll go on for ages and I don't want to really talk long on this one. But I hope this information is useful. So don't go doing anything that you shouldn't be doing. Bye bye.